Captain Sir Mansfield George Smith coming, April 1, 1859 to June 14, 1923, was the first director of the Secret Intelligence Service, SIS, also known as MI6. He was born into a middle-class family. His father was the great-grandson of John Smith, a director of both the South Sea Company and the East India Company, the second son of Abel Smith, D.1756, the Nottingham banker. Smith joined the Royal Navy and underwent training in Britannia at Dartmouth, Devon from the age of 12 and was appointed acting sub-lieutenant in 1878. He was posted to HMS Bellerophon in 1877 and for the next seven years served in operations against Malay pirates during 1875-6 and in Egypt in 1883. However, he increasingly suffered from seasickness and in 1885 was placed on the retired list as unfit for service. Prior to being appointed to run the Secret Service Bureau, SSB, he was working on boom defenses in Bursildon on the River Hamble. He added the surname Cumming after his marriage in 1889 to Leslie Marion Valiant Cumming, heiress of Logie near Foras in Moray. In 1909, Major, later Colonel Sir, Vernon Kell became director of the new Secret Intelligence Bureau, SIB, and created as a response to growing public opinion that all Germans living in England were spies. In 1911, the various security organizations were reorganized under the SIB, Kells Division becoming the Home Section, and Cummings becoming the new Foreign Section, Secret Service Bureau, responsible for all operations outside Britain. Over the next few years he became known as C, after his habit of sometimes signing himself with AC eventually written in green ink. That habit became a custom for later directors, although the C now stands for Chief. Ian Fleming took these aspects for his M from the James Bond novels. In 1914, he was involved in a serious road accident in France in which his son was killed. Legend has it that to escape the car wreck, he was forced to amputate his own leg using a pen knife. Hospital records have shown, however, that while both his legs were broken, his left foot was amputated only the day after the accident. Later, he often told all sorts of fantastic stories as to how he lost his leg and would shock people by interrupting meetings in his office by suddenly stabbing his artificial leg with a knife, letter opener, or fountain pen. Budgets were severely limited prior to World War I, and Cumming came to rely heavily on Sidney Riley, aka the Ace of Spies, a secret agent of dubious veracity based in St. Petersburg. At the outbreak of war, he was able to work with Vernon Kell and Sir Basil Thompson of the Special Branch to arrest 22 German spies in England. Eleven were executed, as was Sir Roger Casement, found guilty of treason in 1916. During the war, the offices were renamed. The Home Section became MI5 or Security Service, while Cummings Foreign Section became MI6 or the Secret Intelligence Service. Agents who worked for MI6 during the war included Augustus Adar, Paul Dukes, John Buchan, Compton McKenzie, and W. Somerset Mom. When SSB discovered that Seaman made a good invisible ink, his agents adopted the motto every man his own stylo. However, the use of semen as invisible ink was ceased because of the smell it produced for the eventual receiver. It also raised questions over the masturbatory habits of the agents. The Government Committee on Intelligence decided to slash Kell's budget and staff and to subordinate MI5 under a new Home Office Civil Intelligence Directorate led by Special Branches Sir Basil Thompson in January 1919. The powerful partnership of MI5 and Special Branch had managed counterintelligence and subversives during the war, but that was suddenly thrown into disarray. These bureaucratic intrigues happened at the very moment when the Irish abstentionist party Sinn Féin and the Irish Republican Army, IRA, were launching their own independence campaign. Coming in SIS, then MI1, C, organized a new espionage unit in Ireland in mid 1920 called the Dublin District Special Branch. It consisted of some 20 line officers drawn from the regular army and trained by Cummings' department in London. Cumming also began importing some of his own veteran case officers into Ireland from Egypt, Palestine, and India, while Basil Thompson organized a special unit consisting of 60 Irish street agents managed by communications from Scotland Yard in London. On Sunday, November 21, 1920, the headquarters intelligence staff of the IRA and its special counterintelligence branch under the leadership of Michael Collins assassinated 14 of Cummings' case officers. Many agents appear to have escaped the IRA execution squads that morning, but Whitehall feared that more of its professional agents would be identified and suffer the same fate. This prompted the hasty withdrawal of most of the remaining SIS agents from Ireland in the days that followed. 
A blue plaque was unveiled on March 30, 2015 in Cummings named at the SIS headquarters at 2 Whitehall Court. Cummings was the basis for the fictional head of the SIS, named Control, in the John L. E. Kerr espionage novel The Spy Who Came In From The Cold and other novels. In the movie version of L.A. Kara's Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy Control signs his name as C using green ink, as Cumming did in real life. Cumming was also the basis for the fictional head of SIS in the original James Bond novels by Ian Fleming. Fleming chose to name his chief and from Cumming's first name, Mansfield. In the television series Riley, Ace of Spies, he was portrayed by Norman Rodway. He was portrayed by Joss Ackland in the BBC One TV series Ascendant in 1991. He was mentioned in the comedy central television satire newscast, called Air Report October 11, 2010. Vernon Kell Sir Robert Bruce Lockhart Sidney Riley Boris Savinkoff William Melville Charles Cumming Andrew, C. Secret Service, The Making of the British Intelligence Community, 1985 Cottrell, Peter the Anglo-Irish War The Troubles of 1913-1922, London, Osprey, 2006. Dolan, and Killing and Bloody Sunday, 1920, The Historical Journal, September 2006, Volume 49, Issue 3. Ferguson, Harry, Operation Kronstadt, The True Story of Honor, Espionage, and the Rescue of Britain's Greatest Spy, The Man with a Hundred Faces, 2010. Hilly, and the Failure of British Espionage Against Germany, 1907-1914, H. Chain, 26, 1983, 867-89. Jeffrey, Keith, The Secret History of MI6, Penguin Press, 2010. Judd, Allen, The Quest for C., Mansfield Coming in the Founding of the Secret Service, Harper Collins Publishers, 1999, ISBN 0-00-255901-3. McMahon, Paul, 2011. British Spies and Irish Rebels, British Intelligence in Ireland, 1916-1945. Doydell Press. ISBN 978-1843836568. Milton, Giles, Russian Roulette, How British Spies Forded Lenin's Global Plot, Scepter, 2013. ISBN 978-1444-73728. Popplewell, Richard Jake, 1995. Intelligence and Imperial Defense, British Intelligence in the Defense of the Indian Empire 1904-1924. Routledge. ISBN 0-7146-4580X. Smith, Michael, 6. The Real James Dons, 1909-1939. Byback, 2011. ISBN 978-1-84954-097-1. Spence, Richard B., 2002. Trust No One, The Secret World of Sidney Riley. Feral House. ISBN 978-0-922915-79-8. West, N., MI5 London, Printable Publishers, 1972. West, N., Historical Dictionary of International Intelligence, Scarecrow, 2006, ISBN 978-0810855786.